Over 100 years ago, Herman Hollerith laid the groundwork for modern computing when he innovated around the punch card and automated tabulating machine. He and his machines rose to fame when they were used for the U.S. Census of 1890. They were so successful that the patents were bought and used to form a company in Germany called Dehomag. Dehomag became an important supplier of computing expertise to Germany during World War II. It was used for another census there, where it was ultimately used to identify and locate Jewish households. Dehomag eventually became the company we now know as IBM. Since then, data collection has become the business model of the modern internet. I know this because I've been fairly successful at building the types of companies that monetize data in different ways. Uh, this is all possible because unique device identifiers in your phone allow us to separate your actions, your behaviors, your interests, your identity from all the other devices on the planet. Companies like mine would bid for the opportunity to insert ads in front of you, your experience when you're streaming music on your mobile phones.、Uh, and these technologies are so precise they can follow you even if you switch devices. A method we call fingerprinting. What enables all of this is data that exists in two forms:、uh, the information that you volunteer, things like your name, your address, your、uh, friends and location. This is what I call primary data. But it's really the second type of data that gives companies like mine our competitive edge, which is the metadata, the tracking data, cookies, pixels, what I call collateral data, the data we don't even realize we're giving up when we're on the internet. So, to give you an example, imagine we have four strangers who are using the same social networking app, and when they sign up, they're asked to each list their four closest friends. Now, they don't know each other, and they don't know that they have something in common, which is this individual who happens to know them all. A company like mine, who buys data, we can see in the data set that if we target this individual, we can affect not only the four but potentially the whole group. I first became aware of the power of this type of data、uh, working in West Africa as part of a population health program aimed at curbing the spread of Ebola、uh, using mobile phones, mobile messaging.、Uh, I also worked with a team in Haiti that used data to alert first responders to the locations of the victims of an earthquake in 2010—an earthquake so severe that it claimed the lives of between 200 and 300 thousand people. I also worked with、uh, counterintelligence,、uh, counterintelligence agencies to help them uh, curb uh, the spread of extremism online by pr、uh, proactively engaging Muslim youth so that they wouldn't fall to these these efforts to radicalize them.、Uh, recently, we've seen the weaponization and the misuse of this type of data. The FBI recently revealed that. Russian bots masqueraded themselves as members of the Black Lives Matter community in order to reach their followers and dissuade them from voting. During the U.S. elections of 2016, psychographic targeting data was used to sway the opinions of the American electorate. In or in use. And these methods were very similar to the way ad online advertisers get us to click and buy things every day.、Uh, we know that extremist groups use similar methods to、uh, recruit youth online. Not very much separates the first three examples, the more altruistic ones, from the、uh, from the more nefarious ones. We all require the same access to the same APIs, the same、uh, collateral and primary data. It's not that different. From a technical perspective, it's it's all the same. We all drink from the same well of data. Dehomag's machines were、uh, invented to collect primary data, data that was volunteered by the German public for the census. But its its users, its German users. Read between the lines and use that data to target Jewish households. In my experience, moral indifference is the only thing that weaponizes technology platforms. 
Today's data companies aren't that different from the data companies of yesterday. They just have more data, more access, and we should ask ourselves: Will they also be indifferent with our data, or are we just collateral in their business models? Thank you.